Good morning, 7 a.m. It's gonna be a hot one today. It's supposed to be 97 here. We've got both the Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y out. We're gonna do another hot test. This will be the last of the series. Each car is rigged with a thermal couple located right in the center of the car. Might be able to see it here. It's hanging in free air there in the center. Same with the Tesla Model Y, and the sensor is hanging in free air. Same location. We're going to check it every hour and see how it works during the day. It's 10 minutes after 10. We're going to try to do this test every hour. Uh, located right here is uh, the test uh, thermal couple. It's in the shade. It's just taped to my outdoor box here. And uh, let's get a reading with this one first. So let's see if we can read that. It's uh, 77.7, and this is gonna blow around with the temperature of the wind. Uh, this box is kind of cool, so we're getting a little coolness off that. But as it, everything heats up here and being in the shade, looks like the air temperature is uh, 79.2 or one, okay? So it's gonna vary a little bit. Now this will be our first reading at 10 minutes after 10 a.m. The cars have been sitting here since 7 a.m. So let's uh, have a look. And plug this in. Like I say I don't have that many hands. Okay, the mach is reading at this time, about 10 minutes after 10, about 96.5.4, okay? Let's take a look at the Model Y. Model Y is at 107.23. Okay, so this is 10 after 10. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do here is come out approximately every hour. I've got some work to do outside. Uh, I'll be back, and we'll track the progress as the sun and everything gets hotter. All right, it is now 11.11. I got done with uh, dismantling my receive antenna array out in the field. This should be the air temperature. Looks like the air temperature is about 78.6 here. Make that 79, maybe a little more. We'll let the meter settle here. Well, there you go. This is 1111's reading. It's uh, about 81 degrees ambient temperature. Let's go uh, plug it into the car. This is the Mach-E at 1111. Okay, about 110 and a half. Let's see what the Tesla says. It's reading one. 23.6. All right, we'll try it a little later. All right, it's 12.10. I've hooked up to the thermal couple here in the shade. 
It looks like the air temperature is uh, 86 ish. All right, well, let's go have a look at the cars. The uh, sky is not completely clear. It's uh, got a, oh, how about that? Look at this, I don't drop my meter. We have a deer friend. We have a bunch of them here on the property. All right, let's uh, look here. Put a little current through the thermal couple here, the machine does, and I think it adds uh, just very uh, little amount of power and then it uh, will stabilize or not. All right, so it looks like 123 here. We'll have a look here in the Tesla. And it looks like the Tesla's right about 109, 110. All right, let's go uh, do our thing and we'll come back in an hour. It's not the hardest part of the day. I think we've got a couple hours yet. All right, it's 15 minutes after one. This is the ambient temperature. It's about 85 air temperature here. It's hot. All right, let's take a look at the cars. Still have a uh, kind of a light, thin cloud layer here. All right, let's see what the Mach-E does. All right, so it's about 132.7 or 8, something like that. Take a look at the Tesla. It's about a hundred and thirteen, make that a hundred and fourteen point three in the Tesla. Quarter after one. Let's uh, check again uh, just past the hottest part of the day, which is uh, 2 p.m. It's quarter after two here. Let's have a look here at the reference thermal couple. It's right there. Wind blows around a little bit. It's very sensitive, as you can tell. When the cooler wind's not blowing at peak 90. All right, let's have a look at the cars. Shouldn't be any wind in the cars. The uh, shadows are not defined, and what we're seeing there is there's a thin cloud cover, so we don't get 100% of the sun. Perhaps it's not uh, the worst case test here. Plug this in, let it stabilize. Okay, so the Mach E is reading at about 137 and change here. Let's have a look at the Tesla. Humidity's up here too. It's uh, probably 68 or 75 percent, something like that. Tesla's reading 115. All right, we'll come back in an hour and see what happens here. It's 315. What temperature is it? Plug this baby in. 
unfortunately, I think our sensor is kind of in the sun, kind of. It's uh, just right there. You can kind of see it. Ah, there goes the sun. It's okay. Doesn't really change the wind. All right, so we're looking about 87 degrees here. Maybe a little more. All right, let's go see what the Mach-E is doing. All right, well, that's the Mach-E, it's 315, 130, is it going to make 140? No, not quite. Close, though, 139.8. Let's have a look at the Tesla. All right, so the Tesla is 114.6, 114.5. All right, let's check it, 415. It is now 415. Let's see what the thermal couple reads here in the air. Well, it varies a little bit because the wind blows, but it's... Uh, 89 degrees, 90. All right, let's have a look at the Mach-E. Hot today. Let's have a look at the Mach-E here. It's uh, 415. Okay, about 136 degrees. Let's see what the Tesla's doing. Just about 111 there. All right, we'll check back at 515. I think that'll probably be uh, either the second to the last measurement to go. 515 next. So it's 515. We're hooked up to the ambient air temperature thermal couple. And it looks like that's about what we're seeing for air temperature. Let's go uh, have a look at the cars. This will be our last test. We've been going all day long. Cars are significantly hot. Let's look at here at the uh, Mach-E. Looks like we peaked about 2 p.m. ish. We're at 133.8. So this is the final reading here on the Mach-E. It is now 5.15 p.m. The sun is setting, as you can see. Shadows are really starting to get long. Final reading here on the Mach-E, I read uh, 134.3. Let's have a look at the Tesla now. This will be the final reading here on the Tesla at 5.15 p.m. I notice it's a little cooler than it was before by quite a bit. I found that the velvet that I had on the dash was half covering the air conditioning, which deals with the cabin overheat protection, so I had a lack of airflow. 
Anyway, uh, this is the final reading, 101.2. This concludes test three of monitoring the inside temperature of the cars sitting in the sun. We started early today. We started at 7.30 and it went all day and right now it is 5.15 p.m. There is a differential between the two interiors, mainly because the Tesla has what's called cabin overheat protection, keeping the inside of the cabin at a reasonable temperature, about 100 to 115 degrees. So the hotter it is outside, the hotter your car will get inside if you don't have cabin overheat protection. The Mach-E does not. And we saw from looking at the internal temperatures that the Mach-E's internal temperatures was almost 140 degrees. And it really wasn't that hot here today. If you lived in a place like Arizona or something where it's 120, I suspect the internal temperature of the Mach-E would be 180 degrees. Of course, why do you want to keep the internal temperature of your car low? There's electronics, there's plastics, there's other materials, and the hotter you run that inside of the car, the premature aging will begin and your car will get old from inside out. That's why, of course, you park it inside of a garage. Anyway, that's what the tests were for. I wanted to see just how hot the cars would get in the sun. I'd never really tested the Tesla. Man, I've never ever tested the Mach-E. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like, click subscribe, and click the bell icon to not miss any videos going forward. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen gets you 1,000 miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.